lot of oil, but it's a little low. You're good. You're good. Let's grab the other side bracket, okay? Yeah, that side's better. This side's worse. There you go. Put pressure on it. Good. Uh oh. Careful. Oh, that side fell off. Wait. You got him. Doesn't seem to be too bad. Let's go ahead and just put a spare tire on it and see what it does. Looks like my tie rod end's still okay. My axle kind of popped out, but that's okay. More control arms on there. Yeah, let's get this thing driving. Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. For today's episode, we actually bought four more fender benders. We went a little trigger happy. We found them on the auction. We're like, hey, these are going for a great price. And we kind of picked them up. Yeah, it's a little much, a little unexpected, but hey, why not? Let's go ahead and check out what we got. I think some of these are great deals. Some of them are awesome. They're not all trucks. Okay, three out of four are trucks, but we actually got a BMW too. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, first.
first on our list, we have a 2008 Chevy Silverado 1500. I mean, this thing is a four x four. It's even lifted. It's gonna be pretty sweet. So we found it and we actually bid it for, the winning bid was $5,000. Not bad, a little bit more after fees, but hey, I think it's pretty sweet. Like I said, it's got rims, tires already on it. The damage wasn't too bad, but we already started taking it apart because I was kind of curious what's going on. So we got it, you know, when we forklifted it off, we jacked it up and put a little well, space. Well, it didn't want to drive, right? Right, so there's something going on with it, but it didn't look bad at all in the pictures. Here's what it was with the auction. So what we did is we took off the wheel and we noticed the racket pinion was actually cracked. So that's why we couldn't turn it, we couldn't actually drive it. It started up and it was like, it sounded good, but we had no steering at all. So we're gonna get a racket pinion, we're gonna get that replaced. And we might need to do some frame on it. We'll have to see because of the lift kit on it kind of thing. But hey, it's not bad, let's go ahead and check around it. So let's go ahead in here and check out the damage. So overall, the knee assembly looks like it's fine. So I was like pretty happy about that. So upper control arm, my tie rod end, lower control arm. I was like, hey, pretty sweet. But the way wheel was pushed back and you could tell right here, the paint's kind of chipping off and peeling off. That's basically meaning the frame is probably kinked there or it shifted. So we'll probably put this in the frame machine and pull it back. That's why my wheel is pushed back a little bit. So it's probably hard to turn as well. I mean, that is known as the soft spot, the crush spot where, you know, right. if it gets hit, that will bend it back. But with a frame machine, you can pull it out, no problem. Right, since we have those tools and stuff and we have the equipment for it, it's not a big deal. But if you're buying it for yourself as a budget build, make sure you watch out. It's nice to do a co-part walk around, look around at it, and if you notice the peeling on the paint like that, then it's probably got frame damage. But the body's looking good though. Yeah, the body overall is pretty sweet. Let's go around and see what's up with this thing. In the front, we got a nice little bull bar, light bar right there. It's nice, I like it. It's like, it's subtle, not too much, but it's there. You know, why not? Kind of extra light, like fog lights, I guess, for it. But is there any damages in the front? It's looking pretty good, got custom headlights. I don't see any damage at all, so that's nice. That's pretty nice. Let's check out the side. And you can tell with the paint, I mean the paint, <laughs> the tape on it, so the doors probably wasn't closing all the way, so it might need to be adjusted. I don't know if it's with the frame or the door just shifted or, it's interesting. We can definitely fix that, check it out. Yeah. Overall, no airbags deployed, so that's really nice. It just, it's a lot easier flipping it if the airbags did not deploy, because it takes a while to you know, send it out by the time it comes back, reset the module, all that fun stuff, so it's nice. It's not a big deal, but it's a process. But sweet. I mean, pretty clean, not a little bad little truck. Dang, check this out. It's got a little woofer in there. It's got a sound oh, yeah. system. Oh yeah, it's got a nice little box in here. Usually these are stolen. This is actually the first time I actually got a car where it's not stolen out. Usually either the, oh, the owner doesn't the take owner it back. taken back before he puts on a co part or oh look at yeah. that LED lights right there too. Woo wee! Nice, pretty nice. I mean not not too bad little you know project. Just need a little bit of framework for sure. A wheel, a little bit of rack and pinion, and we're good to go, right? Yeah, it's got 160,000 miles, something like that on it, so it's not horrible. Um, it's just pretty nice. I mean, like we said, four by four and lifted, so everybody likes that with back seats. All right, let's go to the next truck. Yeah. So here we have, we have another 2008 Chevy Silverado four-wheel drive crew cab, or extended cab that we picked up with only 160, 167,000 miles, which is not bad at all. With, that's a real fender bender. Well, let me show you guys. Usually there should be a fender right here, um, and it's a one-piece fender, so they, they come off. There's no inner structure. Somehow this peeled off, and all my years I've never seen one that actually just like peels off without it you know, breaking all the way. But pretty much all this one needs is like a fender, a hood, a headlight, a bumper, and a door, which is, you know, pretty easy to get. You can get a lot of used parts around here. Um, the rest of it looks pretty good. Let's go around and check out the rest of it. So it looks like this door definitely just needs to be replaced. I mean, this could be fixed and everything like that, but these doors are pretty cheap. And it looks like it shifted back a little bit because the gap is pretty much touching. But the back door looks good. The, definitely the truck has a lot of scratches. You know, it's, it's been probably a work truck for somebody. But we look inside and there's no airbags deployed, which is really good. Makes the job a lot easier to repair. I gotta say it's pretty clean. It's not bad at all. Seat belts are good. That's really nice. 
and it looks completely stock, which is really nice, you know? So nobody really modified this thing. They've just been driving it. What's in the cluster? Looks like it's got some stickers. It's got an aftermarket trailer brake, so maybe they're hauling something around. A little bit of seat wear, just, you know, not a big deal. But other than that, it's pretty nice. Let's check out the other side. Kind of motors um, here, Ivan. Really quick, let's show you guys like the engine. So this is a 5.3 V8, which is really desirable. These engines will last for a very long time. And uh, as a fender here, when you replace the fender, you get actually all this whole piece. And it looks like the radiator support is good. The radiator condenser, all that's good. So you just gotta, you know, take a couple hours, take everything apart, slap a new fender on, slap a new bumper, bumper cap right here another grill, headlight, hood, and you're good to go. I mean, and a, and a door, you know, just a lot of little tedious work, but I mean, this is something like a weekend project. You can do no problem, or Michael can do like a couple hours. You know, Michael's been swapping parts out really quick. But uh, let's start this thing and uh, let you guys hear it run. A little dirty, but we'll get it cleaned up. I mean, technically you can drive this truck home, you know? I mean, you definitely need a headlight to drive it around, but I mean, who needs a fender, you know? And a mirror. Pop that back in there. I don't think it'll stay. Duct tape it. Good to go. And on this side, it's looking really good. So this fender is the way it should be on the other side. It's really nice. I mean, the headlights can be replaced. Those are pretty cheap. Um, the tires are looking really good. It's got some off-road tires, stock wheels. That's pretty cool. And then, as you can see, it's a Z71 with a 4x4, so it's a nice little package. You know, it's got, looks like a custom exhaust on this thing, or it's been flattened. We don't know, you know. And, I mean, the bed has a, a cover in it, so that's pretty nice. Somehow, this is a, a Chevy, and it's got a GM bed cover in it. Not too bad. I think uh, let's let's show them what we paid for it. So the winning bid for this truck was actually four thousand one hundred, which is a little bit cheaper than the other truck. But I think this truck is going to cost a little bit less to fix, or it'd be a lot faster to fix. So this one looks like no frame damage whatsoever. Uh, it just needs to replace some body panels, which anybody can do in their garage. You know, that's why we kind of like these fender benders. They're easy to repair. And you guys have been commenting, like, show us some trucks that we can fix. And I'm like, this is a truck you guys can definitely fix. The other one, I mean, needs a frame machine, but you could always, you know, pay somebody to do that. But let's check out the next truck we got. All right, guys, the third truck on our list. This one's actually the cheapest out of all three. The first one looked like it didn't have that much damage, but ended up having frame damage, and we paid more for it. Our middle one, basically, it's not bad, but a lot of pain panels that were damaged on it, so the door, fender, hood, all that good stuff. And this one's actually a Sierra, and it doesn't have that much damage. Looks like it hit a deer, and they salvaged it out. Basically the same year, it's a 2009, not an 08, but it's right about there, about same miles and everything. But yeah, like I said, we actually got picked this one up cheaper. The The winning bid for this one was 3950 So yeah, it's about, about the same price, but a little cheaper, like I said, so. And this thing's also a four-door. Yeah, look at it, it's pretty nice. I mean, GMC Sierra, those are pretty, you know, people like those kind of trucks, right? Pretty sweet, I would say. Desirable for sure. But yeah, let's look at the damage and see what we picked up.
they definitely hit something in the front, but honestly, I don't even know. Maybe a deer, maybe a raccoon or something, because it's not that bad. Check it out. It's like, boom, here a little bit, there a little bit. The headlights Headlight, broken. Headlights broken, oh, but overall, it's not horrible like we're saying, but they salvaged it out. Looks like it hit the windshield as well and the mirror. But let's go ahead and pop the hood open and make sure nothing behind it is damaged, because you never know, some hidden damage kind of thing like that. But I hope the radiator support's okay. Let's check it out. So overall, it looks great, honestly. The cover's still there. The plastics aren't even broken on it. Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Let me see, I'm gonna look up what this one is. I don't think this one's a, this is a 5.3 V8 as well? Yeah, 5.3, four by four. Yeah, 5.3, wow. This one just has more miles though, right? Yeah, it has like 190. So definitely more than the other three, but same still, I mean, four by four V8, big old motor, dang. I mean, I'm not seeing any damage back here at all. So it's really nice. I mean, everything looks good because you have a lot of room from the grill to the radiator support and radiator condensers. Everything looks really good. Nothing looks like it got shifted. The coolers um, are still good. All my coolers are still radiator fluid. Yeah, the only thing is nice. you, you definitely need a headlight because see, it broke. It probably works still, but yeah, the water's going to go inside. Let's check the oil and start it up. Definitely has oil. That's good. Let's see if this thing's got power. What about the interior? Let's check out the interior. It's not bad. It's a little dirty, I would say, but I think all that stuff will come out. You know, we'll clean it up. Overall, no airbags deployed, right? Right, no airbags deployed. The mirror broke off, but that could have been, you From know. Glass. Yeah, or something happened when he was freaking out kind of thing, but overall it's nice, I would say. been sitting for a little bit. Yeah, it took a little bit to start there, but probably need to run in. We'll check it out. Not a big deal. Like I said, a little bit higher miles. Might even need these spark plugs kind of thing. Not bad. But definitely somebody can fix this on the weekend, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, honestly, it's not a bad little beater truck to have around. Even if it's damaged, you can still drive it. It's not bad. Like I said, need a headlight kind of thing. Make sure that works, but a great solid little truck. So man, overall, this thing is loaded with options. We got a bed sprayed in over here. We got great tires, chrome wheels. I mean, this GMC is pretty sweet. I like it for sure. It's definitely a crew cab, so that's pretty nice. The mirror is damaged on this side. I don't know what's up with the mirrors getting damaged, but I guess it's pretty easy. You know, they're hanging out there and could easily get hang, you know, caught onto something, but it's not a big deal, you know. I mean, bolts. if it was a deer, think about it. Bounce off the hood, something. hit the glass, and Boom. then slid off and hit the mirror. Yeah, who knows? But it's kind of weird. Look at, look at this uh, wheel right here. So it's a 20-inch factory and they actually have like a chrome cap on it. Yeah, yeah. that's like that a off. styrofoam glue, I guess, for it. So, at first I was like, maybe this wheel is different, but it's, it's the same, it's just, it's missing the cap on it. That's weird how that works, yeah. All right guys, so here's our last car that we bought on our little budget deal, and this is gonna be the cheapest out of all three. We got this thing, it's a 20, it's a 2011 750 Xi, so it's an all-wheel drive, but it's a short one. It's not the long extended cab or extended wheelbase, but it only has 100,000 miles on it, and we picked it up for $3,700, bucks. you know, with winning bid, plus fees, but $3,700 bucks for a BMW 2011? And the pictures look really minor. And I actually have a parts car, so I've been looking around for, you know, because I got a fender left over, a couple little things left over. And uh, this thing, what it appeared for was it needed a fender. So let's check out the damage and go from there. So it looks like the passenger side fender is missing. Um, in the pictures, you know, we definitely saw that. We were hoping that the fender would be inside, but there was no fender inside. And then when it came in, we actually had a hard time unloading this thing. Dang. But as you guys can see, this has the V8, the twin turbo, 
It's a beast. engine. So wow. it's, it's pretty good, but these are really known to uh, smoke and be bad. So, I mean, it does have 100,000 miles on it, which is not that bad, but it could be. And then also we noticed that this got broken off. Oh man. But this is where you pour the oil in. So, you know, it can vent, I guess. But we can probably order another one of those. Yeah, it looks like there's two bolts right there, so not too hard to replace. As long as nothing got inside there. But with these, the turbos are right here, and uh, these hoses are known to crack and leak. On my last one, they were leaking. But these all look good. Looks like somebody already replaced them before. He's got the intercoolers right here. Wow. I mean, it's, it's a nice little quick little car. I'm surprised it actually went for that cheap. How much horsepower does it have? I don't know. You but guys it's got, let us know, yeah. It's got a lot of little options, which is really cool. And the, the hood looks really good. The bumper looks good. The headlight's good. Everything's on there really nice. I gotta say, the suspension looks good. But until we check the alignment on it, we won't know. Also, it looks like the, they already started maybe fixing it and then they rejected it for some reason. So it looks like they fixed the dent right here. It's got some primer on it. But the rest of it looks really good. No scratches down the whole side of it. Looks like we had a cat walking around on it though. Savage. <laughs> yep, yep. But the really cool thing about this thing is it's got soft closed doors. So you know your kids come over there and they, they barely close the door and you're like, come on. And it closes it for you. Nice. You can't even slam it. We can. That's crazy. 2011 does that. But oh, I gotta yeah. say the interior is super clean. Whoever owned this definitely took care of it. No airbags were deployed, nothing like that. Um, let's go ahead and start this thing and see what it sounds like. In the dash. Um, the only light we're having is the tire light, so it looks like the tires are flat. Um, it's saying uh, the headlights unplugged, maybe like that, turn signal, but no check engine light, wow. no traction control, nothing like that. And it's still got gas in the tank, so but it's got a lot of you know, it seems like everything's working. Wow, it's got heated and cool seats. It looks like it has a massaging seat, too. Nice. I mean, it's, it's pretty loaded, even though it's missing a lot of stuff right here. It's like the lane assist stuff. Yeah. Back for 2011, it's not bad at all. I mean, not bad. Power trunk. And it's got this big trunk in here. Wow. So you can throw stuff in here and not gonna get dirty. And on these, you know, what you gotta watch out for is the engine actually leaks oil internally and burns it really bad. And so far, you know, we're gonna let it run for a little bit. I haven't seen it smoking that bad at all. So that's a really good sign that we probably got a good one or somebody's already done some engine work to it. I love the taillights. Pretty sweet. The back seats are nice. Catch your own rear controls, rear heated seats, leather. Look at them chairs, so nice looking. I mean, technically we can go for a test drive. I mean, everything's there except the fender. Nice. I mean, I'm surprised this is cheaper than the trucks. Wow. I guess not everybody likes BMWs. All right, guys, so out of all these cars, which one's your favorite? Ivan loves the BMW. He thinks it's the best deal out of the bunch. I mean, it's not bad. Definitely really sweet deal and cheap and really high like luxury, so it's pretty nice. I honestly like the Fender Bender myself, personally, because it's like it's not too bad, but overall, it's pretty nice. I like it. Even though the other one's pretty nice too, lifted and you know. So you, you like the black truck, Michael? I do like the black truck overall, but we have to look at basically the budget, which one we make the most money on, or which one we picked up the best deal for. They're all right there kind of thing, so it just depends which one we'll go for. But let us know which one you want to see repaired, if you want to actually see all of them repaired, or just one of them. I don't know if we're gonna do all of them kind of thing, just want to kind of get it done already, but. I mean, we're still yeah. working on the red truck, so. Yeah, guys, so we still have that big project. We still have some other really large projects coming, so we definitely need to knock out our Duramax, but. We're still moving on, but we're still body shopping. We're still gotta, you know, make money here and there too. So that's what we do as like a daily thing, as our day job kind of thing. Uh, yeah, like I said, guys, let us know which one's your favorite, which one you'd like to pick up. If you would have, you know, had an option of picking these up at Copart, but 
yeah, just breaking it down and just sharing our experience. All right, guys, so like I said, leave a comment down below which one is your favorite out of all these builds. Let us know if you like these kind of projects that we're doing, budget builds here and there, quick flips. If not, you know, we love reading your feedback, but make sure you check out our merch store, leave the comment below, like that, hit that smash, smash that like button, subscribe. We'll catch you next time.